Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you one way to record a loan with a down payment. Big picture, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the loan for the total amount of money, and then we'll take the money from the checking account and apply the down payment towards the loan. After I finish recording this, I'll go and make a second video where I take the money and put it directly toward the asset and make the loan for just the amount of the loan. So this is video one of two. Okay, first thing we want to do is go to the chart of accounts and set up both the asset, the thing that we're buying, as well as the loan. So I've got them bookmarked. If you don't have them bookmarked on the gray bar, you can click on the pencil, find the thing, click the box, bookmark it. So I'm going to go to the chart of accounts. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the green new and I'll start with the asset. So save under and we're going to say fixed asset. Um, this tax form selection, I never go through the effort to pick the thing that looks the prettiest. I just pick a thing and move on with my day. Um, so we're going to say 2024 um, super fast car. I don't need a fast car for my bookkeeping business. Neither does my make-believe flower shop, but I think it'll be funny to use it. So here it is, 2024 super fast car. I'll say save. Then I'm going to go back to new in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to choose liability, save account under, and then I'm going to say long term liability. The reason I'm picking long term and not other current is because my loan will take longer than one year to pay off. I may make believe loan for my super fast car. My tax form, I always pick the first thing because I don't care. Um, let's say um, loan for super fast car. So I'm keeping it real generic. Loan for super fast car. You might have a better way of describing it. You might say, well, as far go loan, last four digits, one, two, three, four. I, I'm just doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and say save. I'll show you what to do with the journal entry and then I'll show you what to do in the register. We can click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. We can go to other and then we can select journal entry. Journal entry is going to give us the behind the scenes debits and credits. I uh, will make believe that this loan took place January 1st, 2024. I need to debit my super fast car. Let's say, um, let's make believe that the car, that we purchased it for $25,000. And so I'm going to say $25,000 for the car and $25,000 for the loan. And then I'll click save and close. Let me show you where that shows up. So if I look at the balance sheet, let me change it to this year. I'll just say all dates. I look at it, I see super fast car. I have an asset of $25,000. I go down into my loans and then loan for super fast car, 25,000. What I could have done is do it differently. So let me go in here. I'm going to delete my journal entry. So delete, delete. Okay. Here's a different way you could do it. You're on the chart of accounts. You've just made your two accounts. I like to go to the car um, or the asset. So I'll find my super fast car. I'll look at the second column and it says fixed assets. I will click on view register. Now I like this because it's just easier for me to think about. I know that it says add journal entry and that feels scary, but it's not. So then I can say, okay, January 1st, 2024, there's no payee. What is the account? Well, I know that one of the accounts, like I'm, I'm doing a thing that'll impact my super fast car asset. What I'm doing is I'm going to increase my asset by $25,000. The question that QuickBooks is now asking me is, what's the buddy account? Like, how were you able to increase this by 25,000? And this is where I'm going to pick the loan. So I say loan for super fast car and I click save. 
this is a journal entry. But what I like about it is that you don't have to know, am I debiting or am I crediting? You just have to think, well, I have a, an asset. My asset is the car and I want to increase my asset. So let me show you what it looks like. If I click on the line and I click on edit, it's the same journal entry. It's just easier to look at, not easier to look at. A better way to describe it is it's easier to enter when you don't know your debits and credits. It just feels easier to put money in the increase column. Let me change this to the loan register. So loan for super fast car, you can see that it magically shows up in the increase column. So I kind of like this. It's a less intimidating way of dealing with it. Now, what I said at the beginning of the video is we wanted to set up a loan, but a loan where we made a down payment. So this is what we'll do. We'll go to the upper left-hand corner. We'll click on plus new, and then we can go to the vendors column. We can enter an expense or a check. Let's make believe we wrote a check. I'm gonna select check. Who's the payee? Um, so, uh, fast car loan company and I'll say save. And where does it come from? It comes from my regular bank account. When did I make this imaginary payment? On January 1st. What was my check number? Um, it's 257 as I record it. So my check number is 257. I am going to say the category, the category is just asking, why are you issuing this money? And the answer is I'm issuing it to decrease the loan for my super fast car. And I made a down payment of $5,000. So I enter this, it says, take the money out of the checking, reduce the loan by 5,000. I'm going to say save and close. When I look at my loan register, right? I now owe $20,000 on the loan. If I go to my asset, my asset is 25,000. So my asset didn't go down at all, just my loan. And then if I change this to my checking account, uh, let me click on date. What you can see is that my, um, let me get it so you can see the, well, I was gonna show you the running balance. One moment. I don't know why. Oh, I apparently just didn't check running balance. Okay, so here uh, I end December 2023 with 55,000 in the bank. I spent 5,000, so now I'm down to 50,000. This is method one. To record the purchase of equipment, or in my case, a make-believe car, to say, I'm gonna get a loan, but I'm also gonna put some money down. I'll make a second video where I show you how to do this without applying the money to the loan, instead just applying it directly to the asset. If you're wondering which method is better, the answer is it, there isn't a better. Let me show you just so you can see. If we go to the balance sheet and we look at the fast car, $25,000. Uh, the loan, $20,000. Those totals don't change no matter how you go about getting it entered. If you have a loan for 20,000 and you purchase the car for 25 and 5,000 came out of the bank, this method will definitely record stuff that way. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you so much.